y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com and today I have a special video for you. We are going to clean together. So this is the end of a really long filming day for me. I'll show you my craft room in just a minute, but it's pretty messy, it's pretty crazy. And I thought I would bring you guys along while I cleaned up, maybe inspire you to get your space cleaned up. Um, let's go. Okay, so this is what it looks like as you enter my craft room. There was a lot of un unboxings going on today. So there's trash around, there's some crafting that happened over in the corner. Over there, I saw my Christmas decor out, of course, and still filming some unboxings and things. Over there, it has just, it's out of control. So we're going to get it cleaned up. When I clean my craft room, I like to work from one end to the other. So instead of like jumping around to different parts of the craft room, I kind of go from one surface to the other in a methodical way. That way I can get it all cleaned up and see progress being made as I work. All right, so like I said, I like to start in one section of the room and generally I start with the couch because it goes pretty fast, clearing off the couch and it's like a decorative part that makes me feel good when it's all set. And then the next thing I'm going to kind of tackle is the floor because I want to be able to move around. And when I have a lot of unboxing videos or have gotten an influx of new supplies, the floor gets cluttered right away. I always pull out my trash can and it lives in the middle of the room when I am cleaning because I know there will be a lot of trash and I have a lot of new boxes and new supplies. As you can see, um, some of my new supplies don't have spots yet. So what I'm doing is kind of gathering those pieces together and I'm going to bring them over to my desk because I do have a lot of new Happy Planner supplies from the winter release and my squad box that need to be put away. And so I will find a spot for those. All my scraps were down on the ground because I was working with them. So those have a place. It really makes it so much easier when everything has a place in your craft room. The cleanup goes so much faster when you're not searching for where things are gonna be. You know exactly where it's supposed to go. It just isn't in its place at that moment. All right, so next up is my little card catalog area. It has gotten just a little bit out of control. Sometimes things start to get stacked, including all of these Happy Planner discs that are going on planners as I work on my 2022 setup. They just are not ready to go on yet. My filming area is over there in the corner. It usually by the end of the day has a photo layout on it, um, a flat lay. And so I also have plug-in lights, like lights that run off of a USB cord. And I, so I have two little power banks that have to be charged. And I just wanted to make sure those get charged, putting a few things in my cart. And now it's time to tackle the desk. The desk ends up stacked with tons of stuff. And you can see I start on one side and kind of work my way around. If I jump around too much, then things end up scattered. It's just not very methodical. So I always make sure that I'm just working from one end to the other. Um, and one of the big tasks to do is to remove things that don't belong. So I will have water bottles and coffee cups and things like that. And so taking those out of the room, things that don't belong, you can see that I have my little stack going of new pieces that need to find a place to live, but just haven't found one yet. I'm going to put those away and I'm just continuing to work around. So let me know in the comments below. Do you have a specific process you use when you clean up your craft room? Again, this isn't really cleaning out my craft room. This is just cleaning up after a busy day of filming and crafting for me. I mean, I still have stuff out from my quiet time early in the morning, but let me know. Do you have a process? Do you clean every time you craft? Do you clean once a week? I know not everyone is in their craft spaces quite as much. You can see I have a little visitor and he'll come in a few times because they know the paper is in mommy's craft room and some colored pencils are in mommy's craft room, which is what they always come by to see. Uh, but yeah, let me know, what is your process? How often do you like to clean it up? For me, if I don't clean it up at night, then I feel a little bit defeated the next day when I walk in, just because this is my workspace. So it would be like trashing your regular office and then trying to walk in the next day and feel like you can be productive. So gathering things, putting things away, you can see I'm going to the trash can a lot. I know where my sticker books go. It's really just making the time. And if I don't make the time um, in the evenings, then it starts my day off the next day kind of rough. All right, another little visitor, more paper. He was making his own calendar. How cute was that? So super sweet. All right, 
I have a few new storage pieces. Now my craft room needs a clean out um, before January. So I have a lot of projects that are kind of in the works. So I'm not ready to completely clean it out yet, but that's what I'd like to do the week before Christmas. So we'll see how it goes. It's a little bit of a flurry of activity around here with lots of videos to get done and some outside projects that I need to get done. So either that or I'll do it um, that first week of January. So we'll kind of see how it goes. All right, got all my things together and making some serious progress around this room. More paper being taken, but that's okay. Good progress. Okay, so I've definitely made a ton of progress, like definitely seeing the desk, Penny has found the couch again, of course, but you can see I have a huge stack of happy planners. Some of these are new. Some of these are from a video that I was filming and they all need to get put away. Let me show you where I keep all of my happy planners. All right. So this is kind of a temporary situation over here. Um, I have some plans to reorganize this, but I love this piece of furniture to hold my happy planners, but you can see it's getting full, it needs to be cleaned out and organized a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna work on next. I'm going to pull over all the happy planners that I need to grab, and then we're gonna kind of organize this little situation just a bit. Okay, I've obviously had a big influx of happy planners from being on the squad this year, and I needed some serious storage. I love this storage piece. It works really well. Um, I'm moving things around because I'm going to put my memory planner over here so it's really easy to access and I'll have to pull it in and out. And then what I'm doing here is making a little bit more room in the shelf by reversing how some of my planners are stored. So some of them are rings up front, and then I'm flipping them to some of them rings up back. This bottom shelf is all um, happy journals this one is happy journals and then it starts with happy notes up here and I have a few old planners that just are out of date now that I don't need anymore that I was using pieces of in 2021 that I won't need in 2022 so that's what I'm trying to figure out what needs to belong in there and I'm taking some of that stuff out so in in some ways I'm cleaning this one out a little bit as I go not totally just seeing making sure there's not any really obvious things that don't belong there just because I know I have a big stack of planners ready to be put in there. Um, the second shelf, the one that I'm working on now is planners for 2022. So I also have undated planners in there. So those are planners that are like quickly coming up, quickly about to be in their moment. And then the top shelf are some planners that I'm currently using, meaning my faith planners that I grab every day, my um, Cultivate What Matters, my Power Sheets planner, and then some memory planning, some different things that are going on on the top shelf. So those are just ones that I access more on a regular basis. I'm going to move my minis over into that Disney storage. And now every all the new stuff is put away, which feels really, really good. Okay, so progress has been made for sure. You can see the floor in my craft room. You can see the desk. Now there is still some things that I need to go through. There's still, this is not like a cleaning out of my craft room because that usually happens the last week of the year, but this is a just freshening it up so that I can work here tomorrow. So on my desk, these are planners that need to be disassembled um, that I'm not using or that are old planners that I need to just take apart and save the um, dividers and stuff. And then I get rid of the other pages because they are out of date or I don't need them. So I will be doing that. Otherwise, things have cleaned up pretty well. So I definitely need to clean out planner supplies and I need to organize a few things, but I still have some projects that need to be completed before I start kind of going through things for the end of the year refresh. Thank you so much for joining me for this craft room cleanup. Um, it's always really important to me to end the day with my craft room cleaned up as much as I can so that when I come to start working and filming uh, the next day, I feel like I can sit down and really just jump right in when I'm feeling most creative at the beginning of the day. Um, if you have any questions about things you saw, make sure to comment. I will try to link some important things down below that I usually get questions about. So you can check the description box for that information. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. And I want to give a huge shout out to my scrappy YouTube members. Thank you so much for all of your support. It really means the world. I hope that you all have a fabulous day. And as always, 
keep it creative.